Hello investors, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the top penny stocks to watch and invest in potentially for February. Now, these are going to be penny stocks that are coming up with some type of uh, news. Pretty much these are going to be FDA approvals, PDUFA approvals, uh, phase one, two, or phase three data. And like we always say, you know, if it's a PDUFA, that means that it has a higher chance of being successful. And the success rate around that is around 80% because if it made it that far into this stage, um, you know, it would not have made it if it was not going to have a higher chance for success. Now, this type of news can uh, hype up the price, causing it to trend up or down, depending on the results. Now, before we get into the list, guys, I just want to thank everybody for smashing the like button on the last penny stock video for January. We got over 390 likes. All I asked for was for 200 likes. So, you know, you guys smashed it uh, for the giveaway. Now, let's see if we can do it again. Uh, let's try to get over 300 likes again on this video. And also, you know, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. I make stock videos on penny stocks, growth stocks, dividend stocks, and just investing in general. And uh, at, once we reach 5,000 subscribers, we'll have uh, the giveaway. So make sure you leave a comment to be eligible for that as well. All right, guys. So the first stock that we're going to talk about on our list for the February penny stocks is going to be ticker symbol JNCE. Currently, the trade uh, trading price is uh, six dollars and thirty one cents. Um, this is going to be the drug approval for solid tumors slash cancers. Uh, this is going to be a phase one slash two, and it's going to be on February six, two thousand twenty. Uh, phase 1-2 new data to be presented at ACCO SITC um, and it's going to be you know at 11:30 a.m. Eastern time so that's actually a positive thing because it's telling us exactly what time it's going to start it's going to happen at 11:30 this way we we we're actually like ahead of the schedule and we don't have to worry if it's going to be after hours before hours because most of the time they do not provide us with this information now let's take a look at the the charts real quick so this is the charts for the stock JNCE and what I'm seeing right here is actually uh, it's kind of been on a downtrend from this $9 area recently since about December. Now, this can be a positive thing because I can see a, uh, a kind of like a support area building right here pretty much at the $6.60, six, like currently the price that it's at. If, if we break this resistance and keep going down, it could uh, drag it down more. But I believe that with some hype and uh, the, the news coming up before the, the data, um, it could drive the price to start trending up, you know, as the time gets closer and closer to that date. So this is something to keep an eye on. I'm, I'm seeing a support area around the $6. So let's say about the $6, maybe a little bit lower than that. But um, and then the resistance area, we have room up to the $9 area as long as we can, you know, get some volume and pump it. Like as you can see right here uh, around December 4th, it had some very, very nice volume and the stock went from about $4 to about uh, nine dollars and 21 cents so it kind of went up about a hundred percent so with positive news this one could definitely be a positive uh, stock for us the number two stock that we're going to be discussing is going to be ADVM ADVM is uh, trading at eleven dollars and 45 cents uh, this is going to be for what age related macular degeneration or yeah degeneration and this is going to be a phase one data and it's going to be on February 8th 2020 um, Right there it says that the data is due February 8, 2020. And let's check out the um, the chart. So this chart, I like this chart a lot because uh, in the past we've seen, you know, data happen right here and the stock kind of went down on negative news. So it can definitely do the same thing on positive news. As you can see, the stock has been trending up since about um, end of October, let's say. So it's went from about the $5 area and it's currently trading at $11. Um, I, I feel like this is going to be our support area because it's trading sideways right now around this $10.50 area. So I'm going to say this is going to be the support. And then resistance that I see in my opinion right now is going to be around this uh, $13 area. If we can break through this $13 barrier, maybe $14, we can definitely fly up to the 15 area or even higher potentially with volume, obviously, and positive news. So that's another one to keep an eye out on. Okay, guys, so the third stock we're going to be discussing, this one we have discussed many, many times in the past in our other videos uh, throughout the year. So it's going to be ticker symbol TROV. Uh, it's currently trading at one dollar and seventy two cents. Uh, this is going to be a drug for prostate cancer and it's going to be a phase two data. Now, this phase two data to be presented February 13th, 2020 with a biomarker uh, data to be presented at AACR April 24th through 29th, 2020. So let's take a look at the chart for, you know, TROV. Now, TROV, obviously right here we had um, positive things happen. It went from about one dollar and forty cents 
traded uh, up to about three dollars so 100 percent gain and then um, we had a trend down again and then down here trended up from about one dollar to the area of about two dollars so it has this pop of about a hundred percent two times right there and now it's kind of uh, consolidating and, and, you know, it built a kind of support area right here about $1.30 is the support in my opinion. And I see that if we can break past this barrier right here, uh, that's about $2.20, we can definitely reach up to this next the resistance area that I see at about $3 resistance uh, with positive news, obviously, and good uh, volume, as you can see right here where we had it in uh, October. I believe that this stock can definitely break close to the $3 area, $3 range. So support area around $1.30 resistance, um, you know, I see about $3 area. So that's another one to keep an eye on. Now, obviously, guys, uh, you, you must do your own research and make sure, you, you know, you penny stocks you should never hold overnight. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. So this is just me showing you guys penny stocks that I find interesting to see that could potentially have some type of volume and some type of price movement. I'm not suggesting anybody to trade any of these. You know, you have to do your own research and you're trading at your own risk. The next stock we're going to be talking about, so this is going to be the fourth stock on our list, is going to be ticker symbol ACST. Currently, it's trading at $0.67 cents, um, you know, per, per share. And the drug right there is going to be, for that word right there, pretty long word, uh, this is going to be a phase three data. We love phase three datas. Uh, this is going to happen in mid-February. It's going to be a phase three trilogy. One data did not meet pri primary endpoint in January 13th. So it did not you know, have successful data in January 13th. But the trilogy two data due mid-February is coming up. Now let's look at the chart for this one. So as you can see, it did not meet that uh, you know, data in, in the beginning of January, around January 10th, January 13th. We had a huge dip. It went from about $2.18 to about $0.76, cents, and it's kind of been on a downtrend. Um, the best thing to do is probably going to be to wait to see you know, what's going to happen about a week before the data. I believe that once we find a support area, hopefully around this $0.60 cents area, um, with obviously positive news, if, the, if the, we have positive news on the next uh, you know, data that, that comes out, I believe that we can, you know, he, we have this area from about, what, 70 cents all the way up to, I'm going to say about $1.75 where I'm, we can build like a resistance area right there. So we have this huge gap to fill up and all we need is positive news, some good volume and, you know, follow the uptrend, which in, can definitely happen as long as we get some positive data on this one. So that is a must on this one. Next stock we're going to be discussing is going to be ticker symbol CRVS. So CRVS is currently trading at $5.81. Uh, this drug is going to be for solid tumors slash cancer. It's going to be a phase 1B. Uh, this phase 1B updated data is going to be presented February, probably around February 13th to 15th of 2020. And um, let's take a quick look at this chart and see how it looks. Okay, so CRVS, I really like this chart actually. Uh, currently, we've been on an uptrend for about two months now. So we're, we're going up and up. Uh, I believe we're at a resistance area right now, which is going to be a very, very key point in this stock. It's around the $6 area. If we can break this $6 uh, you know, resistance right here, if we get positive data on this one, I believe that with the good news, you know, obviously in volume, this one, there's no no real resistance that I see past the $6 area. So I feel like with a big push, this one could definitely pop up, you know, $7, $8, possibly even $9 or higher, depending on how significant this, uh, you know, approval is or the news that's coming out. So right here, as we can see in the past, uh, what is this, J July uh, or June 26th, actually, it went from about $3.30, huge volume right here. As you can see, this green, green to uh, the green tickers. And we see it from 3.30, or green candles, from 3.30 all the way up to about, what, $6.50. So 100% gain on, you know, this positive news right here that it had in the past. So this is definitely one to be following because we're on an uptrend. So it's having an uptrend. So that means even it might follow this uptrend and continue to go up, reach the $7, maybe even $8 before the news. Even if the news is negative, this could possibly a good one, be a good one to you know hold until the run-up and then obviously get out before the news or right after the news in case you don't think it's going to be a positive um, you know, data. The next stock we're going to be looking at is going to be ticker symbol AGRX. So AGRX is currently trading at $3.35. It's going to be for contraceptive uh, patches, and it's going to be uh, PDUFA. Ding, 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 guys. PDUFA. You guys know what that means. PDUFAs have a very high chance of getting approved because it would not have made it this far into the, you know, 
into the uh, stages. If it wasn't, PDUFAs have about an 80% chance of success, and this is going to be on February 16, 2020. The chart right here is looking very beautiful. Uh, it's been on an uptrend here, as we can tell, since about November, late November. It's went from about $1.37. Currently, it's trading at $3.35. Um, you know, this one's just on a nice, nice trend up. So this one, I don't see a resistance again. Uh, this one, I would definitely uh, potentially follow the uptrend. And hopefully, you know, it keeps on running up until the news. And since it's a PDUFA, we could have very, very positive news. And that means that the stock could tremendously increase in price with some good volume. Uh, so this one could potentially get up to the $5 area or higher if we have good news and all the data comes out perfectly like we need it to. Stock on the list, guys, we have double trouble here, CLRB. It actually has two different drugs, two different phases that it's going to be, you know, right here. And this one, the two right there. Uh, pretty much it's trading at $2.62 currently. The first drug is going to be for various lymphoma, and it's going to be a phase 2 data. The phase 2 data updated on February 19, 2020 uh, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So once again, this is very awesome for us because that means we know exactly when the data is going to be talked about, when the news is coming out. It's going to be at 10.30 a.m. That means we can follow the news and see what happens with this one. And now the second drug that's going to be looked at is going to be for multiple myeloma, and it's going to be a phase one data. And this phase one data is going to be updated on February 19th, 2020, also at 1030 a.m. So it's going to be both at the same time. Now, we don't need both of these to be successful in order for the price you know, of the stock to be going up. So as I, I think, in my opinion, that as long as one of these is successful, we can definitely have a huge run up. But if, uh, if both are successful, that's going to push the stock even higher. And as you guys can see right here, we've kind of been on an uptrend since... Uh, what is this about November uh, from about a dollar and nine cents and it's currently trading at two dollars and sixty two cents. I believe that this one is going to continue running up, especially because it has two different drugs that are being looked at. That means we have two times, you know, double the chance of uh, being successful. As long as one of these is going to be good, I feel like the news is going to be very, very nice. The volume is going to get pushed and this, this is definitely going to keep running. Uh, we're kind of at a resistance area right now, in my opinion. Um, if we can stay here, at least create a support area and then break through, uh, this one can go running. So this one can definitely get past that $3, maybe even $4, potentially $5. Just imagine what would happen if both of those drugs got approved, you know, through the phases to the next stage. If two of them got pushed, that would definitely drive the stock to be even better. So let's hope for that to happen on this one. Next up, we have BXRX. Uh, currently, it's trading at $8.30. Uh, the drug that is being looked at is going to be right there. It is going to be a PDUFA. Once again, 80% success rate. Hopefully, it's uh, going to be a successful one for us again. This is going to be on uh, February 20th, 2020. It's going to be the second CRL issued. Uh, as you can see, the first uh, CRL announced May 24th, 2018. The second one was on March 20, 22nd, 2019. And now the new PDUFA data is going to be on February 20th, 2020. Okay, guys, so to look at this chart, this stock is very new. Uh, it's only been trading since about November 25th right here. And it's doubled in price since it started trading. But that is something that it's good to look at. I mean, it's had some decent volume on these days where the price has increased a lot. But uh, th this means that there is no resistance. Obviously, if we have positive data and this is a PDUFA, this one can be a big runner. This $8 could potentially double in price even to $16 because it's a PDUFA, 80% uh, success rate. If we can have some success with this one, this is going to be a huge runner in my opinion. Definitely one to keep an eye on. Probably one of my favorite ones actually. So I would definitely keep an eye on this one and see what happens because potentially this one could run really, really fast. Last but not least, guys, it's going to be KDMN. KDMN is trading at $4.47. And this is the drug that is being looked at. It's going to be a phase two data and it's going to be on February 23rd, 2020. The phase two trial met primary endpoint on November 11th, 2019. Uh, the expanded data to be presented at the meeting on February 23rd, 2020 at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So that is amazing again because we'll know exactly what time it's going to be trading. It's going to be 12 uh, p.m. Eastern time. Now the chart. The chart is looking pretty decent, actually. Uh, we've been on uptrend since about November 6th from about $2.71. Currently, it's trading at $4.5 per share. So it's pretty much almost up about 80% or so. Uh, it's building a support area at, at this, you know, right there. So it's consolidating, going sideways. 
So I feel like uh, it, once we break through that $5 resistance, obviously positive news. If we have positive news, we can definitely break through and keep on running. So this is another decent one to keep an eye on and see what happens with it in the long run. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed February's list for the top penny stocks. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget, once again, smash that like button for me. Let's get over 300 likes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. Make sure you leave a comment below to be eligible for the uh, giveaway. And I'll see you guys next time.